welcome back to the channel i hope you guys are doing well and i really hope you guys are happy i hope that this video makes you happy child because we're going to be addressing this 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 and this in today's video so it's all going to be about our sectional that we had for about a year and a half i'm going to give you guys some updates and everything i like and dislike about the sectional so if you're interested just keep on watching <laughs> Okay guys, so just to get started and letting you guys know what sectional it is, we picked up the sectional from Ashley's Furniture or Ashley's Home Store, depending on what you guys call it, um, last, a year and a half ago. So a little bit over a year ago, it's been about a year and four months, so almost a year and a half. This is the Carnaby five piece sectional and you guys have definitely been asking how's it been holding up. So let's go ahead and take a look. As you guys already know, it is a seven seater. Okay, so it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And if you wanna include this piece as an eight part, but it is the chase, it is a seven seater. Okay, now for the sake of the video, I did remove the table. So once I set you guys on the camera, you can really see what it looks like. But this is what it looks like completely cleared off, right? So we're gonna talk about the longevity and everything about this sectional. I really, really feel like it's a good piece. So let's get, let's get to talking about it. So everyone that's came to visit has talked about how comfortable and how deep the sectional is, but it's not too deep to where you cannot place your feet on the floor. So let me show you guys. Uh, when I sit, this is usually my spot or the chase over here. So when I just sit here, right? I feel comfortable. My seat is on the floor. I have a lot of back cushion. It just, it, it's giving me what I want to give when I actually sit down on a couch and want to be comfortable. So you guys can also see how low this is compared to the other two. It really, really holds its shape. That's one of the reasons I enjoy the sectional is because once you get up, it's not just completely did it out. And I'm saying sitting for hours, once you get up, the shape is still going to be there. You might have to fluff, you might have to turn over the actual cushion because that's what I do once we sat on it for about a week. Once I do my weekly cleaning, I just go in and I turn over our cushions. However, that's going to prolong the life of your sectional and it allows you to sit as comfortable as you want to sit. So this is pretty much how far it sinks when I'm sitting on the sectional. So I think this is a, a, a good ratio. I don't feel like it goes all the way down. You feel comfort like i don't know if you guys can see that but you it's firm you can bounce on it it's firm it's not going to sink all the way down and that's what you want in a couch you don't want a couch that's too hard you don't want a couch that's too soft because you want the longevity and you want to be able to be comfortable i've slept on this couch i sit on this couch i've eaten on this couch and when i say that the longevity after you make sure you do your maintenance, which is flipping the sectional over, making sure you're cleaning up, et cetera, et cetera. The longevity of the cushions, I think they're, they're made very, very well. Let's take a look of what's actually inside the cushions. Just to kind of get up so you guys can see what it looks like when I get up. So this is the one I didn't sit on, this is what I did sit on, and this one wasn't sat on either. So I don't think that's bad at all. It sunk down a little bit, but not too much. And let's sit back down and get back up. Bounce on it a little bit. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> let's bounce on it a little bit, y'all. And then let's go ahead and get up. I think that's perfect. I don't see an issue with it. I feel like the cushions were made very, very well. Now you guys know that I was pushing my back up against here. There's really no difference with these back uh, pillows at all. We're gonna get into that, but let's look at the cushions really quick. So guys, here is what is inside of the cushion portion. I'm gonna be honest with you. I've never looked inside of here at all, but this is what's inside of it. So there's a very um, firm padding in here and it goes all the way around. Then it looks like it's followed up with some more firm padding on both sides. So that this definitely shows me that if ever I can change it out.
They zip right on up. So what I like to do, I vacuum this portion out and I also just go ahead and flip this cushion. So if I was sitting on this side, I'm gonna put this side down and flip it. Place it all the way up against the back and voila, it's good as new. Okay guys, so let's talk about the back cushion. I've actually got quite a few of you guys reaching out to me on Instagram. If you're not following me over on Instagram, definitely make sure you guys do so. I'm active in my stories. You know, I'm getting my page together, but I'm definitely active in my stories. And this is something I'm gonna actually post about. So Instagram will get it before you get it. <laughs> but when it comes to the back pillows, they're filled with that poly fiber. Now, I didn't 100% know about this until one of you guys reached out to me on Instagram and asked, well, what are the back pillows filled with? Are they cushioned or is it like pillow uh, filler? And it's fiber. It's um, the poly fiber that the pillow filler, I'll put it down below so you guys know the actual name of it because I'm kind of thinking of it off head. But um, it's very, very, very tough, okay? The good thing about this, I know some people are like, no, I'd rather have you know, cushions like the, the seating part, but not all uh, sectionals, most sectionals have the poly filler in it. So one thing that's good about that is that if it ever gets too flattened, et cetera, et cetera, you can always run to Home Depot, Lowe's, wherever they sell them, and actually put some extra poly in here to prolong the life of uh, your back pillows. So that was a, a question on what is inside of here, and it is a poly filler, and it does hold up very well. I will say it holds up well. When I do my weekly cleanings, this is something that I also change. I also flip them around and, and change them over. I not only just flip my cushions, I move them. So I'll take, every cushion can be moved except for this chase part. So I'll take this cushion, I'll put it over here by the arm and I'll move all the rest of them down as well as flipping them over so that I can actually prolong the life of the sectional. Mind you, we've had this sectional for a year and four months. There we go. We've had this sectional for a year and four months and it is lasting. There's absolutely nothing, nothing at all wrong with it, okay? So I would highly recommend it. The only thing I don't like is that, of course, this, of course this chase piece, you can't move it anywhere but the chase and that's fine. I'm gonna show you guys what I do when we don't have company and throughout the week. I'm gonna show you guys the secret. The secret that I use to make sure that my chase stays firm and it's still upwards and it's not just sitting flat is I move these out the way. Oop. Now this thing is kind of heavy. this way in case we get any stains, um, any crumbs, and so that the chase life can also have a longevity as well. We sit on our sectional probably three to four times a week. So we're not an active family inside of this living room. We sit outside mainly in the office, in the kitchen area. So when we do have our family time on the sectional, we really, really utilize it, right? If you sit on the sectional every single day, I strongly suggest that you flip your cushions when it comes to this sectional. I strongly suggest that you flip it um, once a week. I can go two weeks without flipping it and maintaining the life of the sectional, but if you have little ones, if you um, sit on the sectional, you and your husband, your friends, your spouse, however y'all work it out, if you guys sit on it often every single day, you know, when you get home, y'all land on the sectional, when you eat, you're eating on the sectional, etc., etc. I would definitely do it once a week. I would do cleaning maintenance and flipping it once a week. That is my suggestion to make sure that this sectional lasts a while. I think, um, um, 
I think this sectional has the potential to last about five to six years if you maintain it. I mean, this is a year and a half, almost two years. So the next three years should be a breeze, right? That's probably when you're gonna start feeling like, okay, it's getting a little sunk in. If you take really good care of furniture or you rarely don't use it, it could last it could last a while. I know someone asked me, hey, I had my last sectional for 12 years. Y'all don't think it's gonna last 12 years. I don't, not with the color, you know, not just with, just life, you know, in general. I don't think it'll last 12 years, but five to six and a half, seven years, I feel like this is a good investment um, for you to get for your home if you're looking towards that, especially if you're a type of person that's okay with cleaning it. So some of the questions I get is if the sectional separates. And this is about the widest gap that you'll have because the sectional is clicked in on both sides in the back, right? Or on the side, should I say. But if it does separate, it'll be about that much. And you can just scoot it back together. You guys heard that? So I haven't had any issues with the sectional moving. I've had several people sitting on the sectional. Sectional has not moved at all. There hasn't been any type of issue with that. And the last question that I seem to always get from you guys is what color is the sectional? I would say it's supposed to be a taupe color, but I would say it's between cream, gray, and beige. So I just wanna give you a close up of what it looks like, um, what the fabric and the fiber looks like. So guys, that's pretty much the end of the video. Would I recommend this sectional? I absolutely would. I would say yes, definitely get this sectional for you and your family. I will give this a nine out of 10 stars. And remember the only reason that I'm not giving it 10 stars is because it's not an easy clean. It's not a hard clean at all. Get you some Dawn power spray or some furniture cleaner and get you a microfiber cloth, wipe it on up. However, we are living in the era of convenience and it's not just a wipe and go couch. I will let you guys know that. If you are interested and you just need a little bit more push, I would say look up the Ashley Furniture in your area. There's probably plenty if you live in a big city like I do. Look up that Ashley's Furniture, go in and see if they, call them first and see if they have it on the floor. Go in and test it out, see the color, get samples if you would like to make sure it's something that will match your area and you would like it in your home. But I highly recommend this. I do believe that the long longevity of the sectional is about five to seven years for me and my household you will have to determine that with your household but we I don't have children so you have to remember that we don't have children right now so I believe this this sectional will last us about five to seven years I also think with kids it'll last you just have to teach them, I guess, not to drink on the sofa because eating would be a little bit easier, I, I believe, than liquids coming up out of it. Um, but besides that, I say it's a great couch, okay? <laughs> Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. If you have purchased it and you have questions, let me know. I'll try my best to answer any questions that you guys have. Like I said, if you're skeptical, go into one of the Ashley stores and try out the sectional yourself. Um, and if you guys are interested in watching more of my videos, I just did a breakfast nook update. So you guys check that out. I'll link it down below. Remember to like this video, give it a really big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. As always, remember to be safe, spread love and always be kind. I'll catch you guys on my next video. Bye guys. <laughs>